Hey, this channel is about an old man trying to run with a bunch of kids. Well, look what came as a delivery the other day. It's a body camera. Whee! Just in case. I need that. Now, what the idea here is, folks, is we're going to use this. Uh, hopefully, we're going to go to some shows this winter, this fall, and uh, use this camera as we wander around and take you with us. And I uh, hope you find some fun in that. So what this is, is this is a body camera with HD noise reduction, 180 degree rotation on the lens, wide angle shooting, and I didn't know that until just now, and internal battery. So, uh, let's see. HD 2 million pixels, ultra clear infrared night vision. I don't think we're gonna be using that. I hope we're not gonna be using that. Noise reduction recording, internal battery, uh, type C interface. You folks can tell me what the world that means. Supports loop recording, HD display, and speaker. I'm not sure why it needs a speaker. Well, I guess it does. If I play it back, I guess I need to hear what I got recorded. So let's find out what's on the inside. A gigantic instruction manual. Isn't that something? Me? everything I wanted to know. I am guessing that that's a lens cleaner and a little tool for something. We'll have to read the instructions. And there's all the wrappings. Cute little cord so I can charge the thing. Oh, looky here. A little mount. This might end up on the roll bar someplace other than the usual camera. That might be fun. Little USB micro thingy. Don't know what that is. And a wrapped up body camera. Look at this, folks. Is that little or is that little? Wee. Just like that. Maybe tape it to the side of my face. I say that, but I also am thinking, tape it to the side of the helmet. <laughs> there you go. So, little clip. There's the little mounting device for that. Interesting. All right. I don't even know where the on-off switch is. What do we think here? Maybe I better read the instructions. Oh, I see the lens. Oh, yeah. And this is one of the things I liked about this. It actually has a 1.4 inch screen so that we can actually see what we're shooting. Um, you know, sometimes you have cameras like our GoPro. You have to have a uh, monitor an external monitor to be able to see what the GoPro is uh, is filming. So that is going to be handy. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to read some instructions, but that's what we have. New fun tools to play with for the Bud Miller Racing Channel and uh, hopefully give you folks either another view or more views. So, thanks for watching. We'll charge this thing up and then we'll let you know what happens. Thanks. So, we've got it on. You see the little screen there? Bitty bitty screen. <laughs> that exciting. So, what we've got is, and I'm going to have my assistant help me here because she's more tech savvy. Tech sa there you go. She said it herself. All right. So on the side, on this side, is the on-off. 
goodbye. And on. Welcome. And um, that came on really fast. I'm just saying. It did. It did. And even though it was fully charged, it's already, the battery's already down a third. So who knows? Um, so what do we got here? Okay, the button's over here. That button right there is a button to take a still picture. And this is to shoot the video. Uh, I don't remember what the light is. Apparently, this little microphone is so that you can uh, record audio without the video. At least that's what we think it is. So we're going to find out. Then this one right here is, as you can see, everything's right side up. But if I flip this lens over, now we're all upside down. Isn't that exciting? So what we can do is hit this little button and turn it the other way. Now, I don't know what happens when you turn it straight out. That's, looks like it's, who knows? It's upside down. Now it's right side up. All right. So they show this on a bicycle, and it's got this handy-dandy little mount that you could strap it to your bicycle handlebars or something. Um, not sure if that's going to be enough to go around a roll bar. We'll find something to hang it off of. So that you can shoot straight out in front of you. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn it back this way. And we're right side up again. Going that way. So the lens will flip 180 degrees. So the light, if you hit it, it'll turn the screen off. Okay. So, okay. So we turn the screen off, but it's still recording, apparently. Mm -hmm. Turn it back on. Then this button, right? Yes. Is to get into the menu, I believe. Well, if you hold it. If you hold it. So we'll hold it. So, and there we can choose different modes. Uh, we set the video resolution at 1080p, which is performance, uh, which is 60 frames for 60 pulses per second, uh, which I think may work better, especially when recording the finish line lights, like at Summit Motorsports Park. And then we can set it so it will record over itself. It'll only run for so long, and then it'll record over whatever it had. Car mode, so that it will actually come on uh, once you get into your car. So you can use this as a... Uh, a lot of people are using video cameras like this to record their driving in case there's a license plate number that needs to be remembered or somebody does something funny out on the roadway, you've got it on video. Or if it's an accident and you know it's, it's not your fault, you have proof. Right. Or if it's an accident, it is your fault, then you have proof. This is true. <laughs> yes. Isn't that amazing? So... And video and audio adjustments, so there's probably more, right? No. Nope. Yeah, there are time. Volume setting. Oh, that's interesting. Time stamp. We did already set the time and date stamp. Auto power off. So that's that would that was setting would be so that once you got into your car, if I turn that on, it will know that I'm in the car and the car is going to move and it'll start to record automatically. It's also good, like if you're using it as a nanny cam um, and somebody walks into a room, it will turn on. It'll turn on. Okay. So auto screen off. You need to hit the side button if you want to get out of the menu. Oh, okay. So image resolution, we already did that. Language format, default settings, version. Okay, we're back. And I hit the other side. This side yep. to get out of that. Okay. Yep. So there it is. Um, we've recorded a little bit. We might be recording right now.
Probably R. Nope, it's not on. No, it's not on. It would have the red button just like the phone does. Oh, okay. So how do we do that? Okay, so turn it towards you and on. Towards me, like yep. that? Turn it so it faces. Me? It's right side up. All right, okay. and then on this side, my side, the top button is the record button, and you just hit it. Okay, okay. Has the little video camera on it. Yep. And so see, red now button. we're recording. We're recording us recording. That's right. That's pretty exciting. And then you just hit it again it's to stop it. More than we can handle. <laughs> All right. I can see that this is going to be much more touchy. All right. We're going to shut that off. And we're going to shut this off. Goodbye. All right, so that's the rundown so far. Now we're gonna go and put this on the computer and see if we recorded anything and if it's worth looking at. Well, now you're seeing me on the new body cam. Wee right there. And uh, looks pretty interesting got a lot of different options that we can use so uh, we're testing it right now we're testing it for the video we're testing it for the audio and um, well we're gonna put this on our computer and see what I look like in that great so my conclusion on the body camera that we bought it's usable it works um, we'll try it at some shows and hopefully uh, get some videos out that show you how well or how how well it works or how it does not work well. <laughs> so uh, we'll we'll see what happens. Thanks. Subscribe, like, comment, share, all the good things. Appreciate it.